Hello and welcome. My name is Florian and today I want to talk about my desk setup as a software engineer and computer science professor that I use when I'm working from home. I already made a video about the chair that I'm using here and about the desk itself and in the comments of those videos you have asked for a full-fledged desk setup review and that's what we are going to do today. But before we do that, let me first briefly introduce myself. My name is Florian, I'm a computer science professor and I've been working in software engineering for more than 20 years now. I've been managing a globally distributed software engineering department with more than 100 software engineers and my mission is to help you grow your software engineering career. So if you're interested in software engineering, please subscribe to the channel. And if you found this video entertaining and helpful, then please smash the like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. That being said, let's get started and let's have a closer look on my desk setup. Okay, so this is my desk setup that I use when I'm working from home. I do here mostly software development, software engineering work, but of course also preparing of my lectures, research as a computer science professor, and of course also emails and administrative stuff. The centerpiece of this whole setup is my FlexiSpot standing desk that I already did a review video that you can find down in the video description. The whole setup is powered by a M1 MacBook Air. What you can also see is that my MacBook Air is sitting on top of a Griffin notebook elevation stand. I can really recommend that because then it's slightly elevated and it's just so much better for your neck because you don't look down all the time. Since we're also doing still a lot of video meetings, online meetings of Logitech Streamcam that I use for those, I found the video quality to be quite decent and I like that I can zoom it in so that I can really point it on me and not on all of the background and the surroundings. I also have a part from the Logitech Stream Cam mount on my monitor. The second mount behind my MacBook Air because that sometimes gives me a nicer angle on myself and allows me to look more towards in the camera than upwards in the camera. Then I have my LG 27 inch monitor that connects to the MacBook Air via USB-C. That's also really a game changer being able to just plug in one cable and then have everything connected. From the back of the monitor there runs a USB hub below the table where I've connected all the USB peripherals and also things like a USB network interface to get gigabit network. I use the Apple Magic Mouse and the Apple Magic Keyboard both in the versions where you can charge them with lightning cables. I don't really like mechanical keyboards. I don't like the clicking sound they make. I don't like the feel. For me, a keyboard really needs to be flat and the Apple keyboard is just perfect for me. I even use it with my Windows notebook at work because I just like the feel and I can't stand the mechanical keyboards. To record voiceovers and like, I have a Rode NT USB microphone mounted to my desk. Sometimes I also plug it in directly into my iPhone when I'm recording videos. 
and I have a USB to lightning adapter for that. I think it has a very nice audio quality, but sometimes for the videos I also use my Rode Video Micro Go or the Lavalier mic that I recently bought. And of course, all of the tech that I mention here will be linked below so that you can check it out on Amazon and buy it if you want. As I said, my whole setup is powered by an M1 MacBook Air. I really like the small form factor, being able to use it when I'm traveling, when I'm on the road, but I also have enough power for all the tasks that I'm doing and at the same time it doesn't have any fans so it's absolutely silent you never hear a noise from it and it's just an amazing computer to add some ambient light i have an ikea lamp with an rgb bulb that uh, i can control with a remote control and then I have my Anchor MagSafe charging stand for my iPhone 13 that is also able to charge AirPods when you have a charging case. I also have this small VW Beetle here that is a sort of a reminder that I'm working in the automotive field. You might not know this, but I've worked in an automotive supplier company for most of my career and now i'm also working in a study program that's called embedded systems automotive and aerospace engineering what you can also see here in the left upper corner is that i've used um, some of these cable management systems to organize all my charging cables i have a usb-c cable there a lightning cable and a micro usb cable for all my charging needs one hack that i installed is i have a microphone or audio cable running from my macbook air to the front of my screen where i have hooked up some cable airpods so this is the tech that i'm using when i'm working from home which is usually two days of the week. Is there anything that surprised you? Maybe that I'm not a user of a mechanical keyboard or is there anything that you think that is missing in my desk setup? I'm curious, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video entertaining, then please smash the like button. And of course, if you want to hear more from me about software engineering and programming, then please subscribe to my channel so that I can see you in the next video.